They're coming to get you, Barbara. Good morning and welcome to Whenever You Are. I am Bandit Hayes and today I'm going to be talking about the inevitable zombie apocalypse that is heading our way because people need to be prepared. And this is not a question of if it would happen, but when it would happen. There have been a lot of little signs over the years, but right now more than ever, I think we're seeing the biggest signs that it is coming. And amongst those signs is self-service checkouts. Self-service checkouts are amongst the worst inventions ever. Not even a joke. Let me explain. One, there are no unidentified items in the bagging area. I scanned everything. Now I have to call the lady over to enter some code. And what is the point of a self-service that I need to get help with? That just defeats the purpose. Two, why am I paying full price for items that I scan myself? That makes no sense to me. I mean, how many people are they not employing to have all those self-service checkouts and you can't pass those savings on? You don't need to go wild, but can I at least get 10% or a free donut or something? And free. Why do these things have to be so loud? Anytime there's a problem, you don't know if it's you or the person next to you. You just hear, please place items in bagging area. Please place items in bagging area. And everyone's just standing there confused, scratching their heads, trying to figure out what's going on. So yeah, I don't like self-service checkouts, but I do use them. Only because like sometimes we go to the regular checkouts, the queue is long. And I'm looking at a checkout girl to see how cute she is and I mean yeah she's cute but she's not waiting ages in some long ass line cute so but anyway here's the real problem. Now self service checkouts technically aren't new I mean we've had vending machines for a long time now these are really just the next evolution of that and of course online shopping has been around for a while now as well. Now there are some shops that don't even have checkouts at all you just walk in and pick up and walk out while a bunch of cameras scans everything which by the way sounds like a dumb idea to me because you know the most amount of items are getting stolen from those shops not that you should of course stealing is wrong I'm just saying the ghetto side of me has seen at least five different ways I can steal from those places it's not even funny anyway what this all means is that the future of human contact is no contact at all for example think about how internet social networks were originally supposed to bring us closer but instead we're more disconnected than ever Ever. That's why if you post a picture of a cat, it would get loads of likes. But if you post about clipping your toenails, no one cares. Think about this. People right now would much rather look at pictures of hairy pussies than read about somebody taking good care of their health and personal appearance. That's the world we live in. And we don't even use words anymore. Ten years from now, universities would be offering degree courses in emojish. When you get your certificate, it would just have a giant smiley face on it. If you get a smiley face with a big grin that means you passed with flying colors and if you get the aubergine well that just means you're a dickhead plus it's dangerous to express opinions or to pick sides now like if you wear red and then go walk into a blue neighborhood you can get beat up maybe even killed and it's just so senseless so I just want to take a moment to make an appeal. Please, stop fighting each other over your political affiliations. Anyway, the point is, we're getting more disconnected. We're dehumanizing each other over trivial reasons. And eventually, we're going to get to a place where no one communicates with anyone. Except, you know, to buy or sell sex robots. But when we stop interacting with each other, we'd ultimately stop learning. And when we stop learning, that's when we start regressing. And we'll keep regressing until we're like the apes in 2001 A Space Odyssey. And then we'll regress even more until we're like the humans in Planet of the Apes. Except worse, because they at least had community. All I'm saying is, we'd get to a point where we're so dumb, we'd practically be brain dead zombies walking around, not really understanding anything, and eating chicken with no seasoning. That's where we're heading to and self-service checkouts are partly responsible. Now here's the thing, if you can see the future, you can potentially change it. So how do we avoid becoming zombies? And let's be real, we're not getting rid of self-service checkouts because sometimes you just need to get what you need to get and get while the getting's good. Not sure if I use that in the correct way, but it had a nice alliteration, so I'm keeping it. But for real though, sometimes you just can't deal with people, especially when they go get a restraining order on you just because you've been following them around everywhere they go. Like, what's that about, right? <laughs> yeah. 
So no, we don't need to stop with the self-service or online shopping or whatever. We just need to be aware of it and make conscious efforts to talk with each other because the way we communicate is always going to change. But as long as we are communicating, we can at least delay turning into zombies. And that is what I think of the zombie apocalypse. What do you think? Resident Evil or Carl? Let me know down below and if you like this video give it a like and share it amongst your friends. If you did not like it then give it a dislike and share it amongst your enemies. You can check out more videos over here, gaming channel over there, subscribe and follow me around the web over there, hit that notification bell as well. All links are in the description but that is all for now so thank you for watching and until whenever, if ever, when there is no more room in hell, the dead shall walk the earth.